from all that we experienced before coming here to all that we have experienced here to all that we wish to share and live when we go forth. In the Gospels, Jesus did three things. He was a preacher, he was a teacher, he was a healer. The healing ministry of the church has been called uh, the neglect, neglected ministry of Jesus. We have in our culture, in our communities, in our cities, in our families, in our workplaces, in our nation, in our world, we have been through a season of extended hardship, challenge, trauma, grief, brokenness. Amen? You are the spiritual leaders of your communities, and you have borne more of this weight than the typical person. You are the people who hold families together, who hold workplaces together, who hold communities together, who hold churches together. And you have absorbed all of this, I trust, and you have told me this. So we want to offer a simple invitation as we prepare to depart. There will be stations of lay leaders and clergy. The ministry of healing is the ministry of laity and clergy. There will be, a, there will be stations that encircle us. And if you feel so led, if you desire some form of healing in your life for something you've experienced, or if you are called to return to where you live and to be a healing person, we simply invite you to step toward a station and receive the anointing of oil with the sign of the cross. It will be that simple, not manipulative, but if that is a calling in your life, your need or your gift, you're invited to step forward as we sing together.